Greetings all 1,297 adventurers of the realm. My name is Jaken, and today we're going to discuss how damage works in DC 20. Attack checks and spell checks have a base amount of damage that they deal to a target on a successful check. Yes, you heard me right. This means that in DC 20, you don't roll for damage. Don't click off of the video yet, just hear me out. As someone who also loves rolling the math rocks, I get it. But having played the game for myself, I'm almost positive that you won't miss rolling for damage. And here's why. In, in DC 20, if your check beats the target's defense by five or more, you get to deal additional damage. An attack deals one point of damage for every increment of five you beat their defense by. To learn more about how attack and defense works in DC 20, check out this video that we made. Let's give an example. Let's say you're making an attack check against a target with a physical defense of 10. If the result of your attack check is less than their physical defense, then that results in a miss, meaning that no damage is dealt. If your result is equal to or greater than their physical defense, then it results in a hit, meaning you deal the base damage of your weapon or spell. But let's say your attack check results in a 15. Because you went over their physical defense of 10 by five, you get to deal an additional point of damage. In DC 20, we call these heavy hits. Let's say you got a 20 on your attack check. Well, now you've beaten their physical defense by 10, meaning you get to deal two additional points of damage. This would be called a brutal hit. As discussed in the previous video, attacks and defense, if you score a critical hit, meaning a natural 20, you've then beaten their defense by 10, so not only do you get the two points of damage, but you also get an additional two extra points because it was a critical hit. Now, let's see this play out in real time. Jaken, a bugbear approaches you. What do you do? I'm going to make an attack with my greatsword. All right, roll your attack. All right. That's gonna be a 22. Nice, that's going to be a brutal hit. Sweet, my greatsword has a base of two damage. So plus the two extra damage from the brutal hit, well, that will make it four points of slashing damage. Great job. Calling out regular hit, heavy hit, or brutal hit is a great way to communicate directly with your table how much extra damage to apply on their base attack. Regular hits are no extra damage, Heavy hits are one point of extra damage, and brutal hits are two points of extra damage. Now that we've covered how to apply damage, let's discuss the different types of damage in the game. DC 20 has 13 types of damage. The first three are pretty straightforward. Slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning. Slashing will be dealt when you are slashed, piercing when you're stabbed, and bludgeoning when you are hit with something like a hammer or a fist. Next, we have fire damage from things like burns, lightning damage from things that shock you, and cold damage from things that freeze you. Next are some of the unique damage types. Sonic damage comes from things that assault your hearing. Poison damage comes from things that poison you. Corrosion damage from things like acid. Radiant damage from things like holy light. Umbral damage from things like eldritch power. Psychic damage from things that assault your mind. And finally, true damage, a special type of damage that cannot be mitigated. And much like checks and saves, there are also categories for damage. Physical, elemental, and mystical. Physical damage includes slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning. Elemental damage includes cold, corrosion, fire, lightning, and poison. And mystical includes psychic, radiant, sonic, and umbral. In our attacks and defense video, we briefly mentioned the concept of physical and mystical damage reduction. Physical damage reduction, or PDR, will protect you from bludgeoning, cold, corrosion, fire, lightning, piercing, poison, and slashing damage. Mystical damage reduction, or MDR, will protect you from psychic, radiant, sonic, and umbral damage. In DC 20, there are a lot of ways to reduce or take on more damage. Two of those ways are from resistances and vulnerabilities. Resistances. Resistances. When a character has a resistance, they reduce the damage that they take. But when they have a vulnerability, 
they increase the damage taken. There are three types of ways resistance can work for a character. Resistance immune, resistance half, and resistance X. Immune means you reduce that damage type to zero. Half means reduce the damage type by half, and resistance X means you reduce the damage taken by whichever number takes the place of the X. There are only two ways vulnerability works in DC20. Vulnerable double, which increases the damage times two, and vulnerable X, which increases the damage by whichever number takes the place of X. And finally, let's talk about some unique damage rules that might not come up in every game. First, there may be times when dealing bonus damage on attack or spell checks deals extra types of damage. In this case, you will choose which of those damage types your damage bonus will increase. If you're adding bonus damage to an attack that targets multiple targets, the bonus damage can only be applied to one target of your choice. And lastly, if two or more creatures share damage, you divide that damage by the number of creatures, round it up, and then distribute that damage equally among them all. Congratulations! You now understand how damage works in DC20. If you liked what you saw and want to grab a copy of the alpha rules or the current beta for yourself, I'm including a link in the description and pinned comment. Plus, if you do, it helps me out a little bit. And lastly, this video would not be possible without the producers that you're seeing here on our screen over from our Patreon. So to them, I say thank you. Want to learn more about the rules of DC20? Check out this video that we made. I think you'll like it. I'll see you in the next video.